going on out there, peeps? All right, let's see if this video can make it through in a timely fashion. That's for sure. What are we dealing with here? All right, it's Thursday at 8.27 p.m. Let's see how long it takes for the video to go through. Uh, if you guys heard my rant, then you know there's been an ongoing problem with YouTube. Uh, they were saying it's just a glitch and they took care of it. Let's hope that that's the truth and we will see from there. Anyways, around the world, we're seeing a mad push for everybody to get their CBDCs out, along with a lot of conflicting news. The central bank digital currency is not the way to go. That is of effect economies around the world. Then you have those who are the Davos groups, the New World Order, saying, no, hurry up and get this out. We were told that it won't have no glitches. It should go through smoothly, although we've seen in the Bahamas, their system was down for over two weeks. I think it's been three weeks by now. So my question was, if the CBDC goes down, how do you get your money? How do you survive? I mean, if they want us to go 100% cashless, I don't trust it. Not just that, but this money is programmable, and they monitor everything you do with it. It's none of their business, and it's got an expiration date on there. I have some videos covering this. Not the type of currency I want. A reminder to everybody to please hit the thumbs up button. Do it helps me get past the YouTube algorithms that are most likely shadow banning my videos if they're not doing anything else to them. <laughs> and if you're not a subscriber, please do so because when you do it helps up the channel and I surely do appreciate it. You guys know how I feel about gold and silver. I did a video with Chris Marcus. I hope to have that up soon. We spoke about why it's important for people to be in the gold and silver market right now. You guys should be physically owning gold and silver. And when you go to buy gold and silver, check out our friends over there at Money Metals Exchange. The link is down below in the description. If you are a first-time buyer and you spend more than $100, use promo code PIMPY, P-I-M-P-Y, and you will get a free half ounce of silver. So 700 years ago when I last did a video on finance or cryptos, just kidding. Look, Bitcoin, they came back just a little bit. Anyways, I thought they would make one more small dip before they make the run. It is that time, according to the Wyckoff. It should be any time after this week. We should start to see cryptos run. It doesn't mean that it's never going to have days in which it goes into the red. It just means, like, we'll have more days if it's supposed to be moving into positive territory. Case in point right here, since January 21st, Bitcoin has been... Moving in an upward motion, except for it's looking like ever since the 8th, it has been slowly moving down. This is what I'm talking about. There's usually that one more dip before it goes on its major run. Is this that final dip? Is a cryptos about to take off? We're going to find out how accurate that Wyckoff is. If it continues to follow the Wyckoff chart, then we're going to be looking at new record highs, most likely doubling what their current value is. There's a lot of people predicting Bitcoin to be over 100,000, some say 150, some say 200,000 by the end of this year. There's a lot of people just making guesses, but for me, my guess is going to be a little bit more on the educational side. All I needed to do is look for a trend, and a trend is following the Wyckoff. So Bitcoin's at 43,175, Ethereum is still above 3,000 at 3,071. We have XRP at 82 cents. It started to make a run a few days ago. I think it was up 20 something percent. So congrats to the new World Order coin. Cardano, the other new World Order coin, right underneath it at 82 cents. You got Solana a couple spaces below there. Their brother, sister, new World Order coins at $1.04. Dogecoin's at 15 cents. Polkadot above the $19 and now at $20.43. Shiba 4031, there is supposed to be some major announcement happening with Shiba on Valentine's Day. There's a lot of speculation, but we will see. Polygon at $1.84, Crypto.com at 50 cents. What's up? No love for Algorand? They're one of the New World Order coins. They're at 97 cents. Satama coins, man, they just have that love-hate relationship. They just cannot get on solid ground. Seven zeros to one. After they had a pretty good couple of days. Anyways, over the last hour, it is up 1.4%. But over the last 24 hours, it is down 17.4%. Over the last seven days, it is down 8%. 
But over the last 14 days, on average, it is up 7.4%. And over the last 30 days, on average, you have lost 54.5% of your value. As for silver, it's at $23. It was above there and making a run for it. And as usual, the powers that be brought it right back down. Let's look at the hour over hour chart. You can see right here, 23, 2370 and starting to really make a run, especially, especially since when was this? I mean, technically speaking, if you go all the way back to January 28th, you can see when it's down here at $22 and 23 cents. It got up to $23.69, but since then it's been brought back down to $23.05. To a lot of people like, well, that's not very much. It's only cents. No, you got to understand the overall percentage is down. is not good. Once it reaches $23, then it always appears that it's about to make a run, and then it gets stymied. Same with gold. If gold gets anywhere near that 1840 mark, then all of a sudden, magically, you see it go down in value. Although this is interesting right here, but this is minute by minute. Let's take a look at hour by hour. So almost the same thing can be said about gold. Gold back then was 1781 and got up there to 1841, but since then has been brought back down to the current level of 1824. Again, it's not a lot, but it's still the percentage wise. We want to see it consistently move up like we have before. Gold sits at $1,824. Futures contracts got gold somewhere around $1,864. So at least they're banking on gold going up. We will keep an eye on it. Lots of people are asking me about the central bank digital currency. There's people actually out there going, it's never going to happen. They're never going to do it. I don't care what the news says. But it's not just here in the United States. It's all around the world. This is how you know this is a planned event. Why would all of a sudden, magically, all of these governments decide to go get a, a central bank digital currency? Well, that's because that's their instructions from the Bank of International Settlement, which, again, I remind you, our Constitution forbids anybody outside of our country, any organization, any individual, from having input or control over our monetary system. And it looks like the Bank of International Settlement is telling us what to do over here. So the CBDC could damage the economy. Now, some of these articles are a little bit older, but I bring them up to make a point. This is just from the end of January. It's not that old. But the CBDC could damage the economy, says ex-Bank of Japan official. What you're going to see in the news is it goes back and forth. I think whatever this great reset, whatever is happening, starting, like I said before, they're starting, everything is starting to fall through their fingers. You're seeing a lot of mixed messages. I think you're starting to get a lot of governments running with their tails between their legs going, look, this whole thing isn't going exactly the way it was planned. Look what's going on in Canada. People are starting to rise up everywhere. I mean, already we've seen uh, Macron <laughs> in France. He's been slapped. He had eggs thrown at him. He got attacked. They shot manure through his windows of his house. I mean, it, 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 it's just been crazy. People in different countries are now demanding that the governments go after Soros, go after the Davos group is what they're calling them. Will that happen? I doubt it. But we'll see. While most countries are looking for ways to make the most of the blockchain technology by adopting policies for the benefit of their citizens, some people continue to remain skeptical about it. The most recent addition to the latter group is a former Bank of Japan employee. Hiromi Akamak, the former head of the Bank of Japan's Financial Settlement Department, recently expressed his opinion on the usage of a digital currency better known as a central bank digital currency or the one world currency in a financial sector. According to, is that Yamaka? <laughs> Issuing CBDCs as a monetary policy could end up severely damaging the economy. Yeah, because they're going to have people resisting it. They're going to look for ways outside of the system like gold and silver. You're going to see protests over it, especially if they start controlling it in such a way that's dangerous to the people. They're not going to present it to you that way. But as we know, this is programmable and comes with the expiration date on it. Well, looky here, the digital yuan off to a rocky start at Winter Olympics. But this was already happening. The Chinese people are resisting the digital yuan as they look for alternative ways away from the central bank digital currency. What happened was China who is hosting the Olympics, sent out these digital wallets to the Olympians while they were there. 
I know our Olympians were told not to use it because it had security issues. So I'm not so sure how whether or not we did decide to use it. The much anticipated digital yuan is finally available for foreigners at the Winter Olympics in Beijing. But there's one issue. Not everyone at the event is fascinated with the currency. According to the Wall Street Journal, there's a real reliable source for you. Liza Lin, she hasn't seen anyone using a digital currency yet. Well, is she running around looking at everybody? I mean, she says she hasn't seen anybody, but I mean, how hard are you really looking? Foreigners are not using the digital yuan. The pilot of the digital yuan at the Winter Olympics is part of the Chinese government's effort to gauge foreign acceptance of the currency. Now, I've been watching the Olympics every now and then, and I don't really see anybody in the crowds at all. Now, we know there's coronavirus issues there. But, I mean, how many people are there to actually have an opportunity to use the digital yuan? I said this before, that they had trouble with their own citizens. Of course, you're going to have troubles with foreigners. It's not like China could be trusted, unfortunately. Anyways, the digital yuan, as you can see, is having problems. And let's hope that continues because as people become aware of what is going on with the central bank digital currency, then the more resistance we'll have. So India has found a way to really discourage people from investing in the cryptocurrencies. Heck, if they can't stop you, how about they just tax the hell right out of you? <laughs> India has taxed cryptocurrencies at 30%, put digital assets in the highest tax ban. So see, fine. If you're going to avoid the financial institute that they put in front of you, well, then they tax the bejeebas right out of you. And get their money one way or another. That's a really super high tax bracket. Binance CEO warns against isolating the central bank digital currencies from broader crypto ecosystems. Well, of course he warns that because he's aware what's going to happen. Once the central bank digital currency is running and it's running smoothly, they're going to try to phase out all cryptocurrencies. We know that the president of El Salvador has accepted Bitcoin as their official currency. The smart thing would have been to accept cryptocurrencies, period. Let their people decide. This way, then, no one cryptocurrency can be manipulated to hurt the country. But yeah, Binance CEO warns against isolating. That's because he knows what's going to happen. If the CBDC starts getting isolated slowly but surely, and then once it's up successfully, do away with cryptos. The IMF chief touts advantages of the central bank digital currencies over unbacked crypto assets and stable coins. Well, first of all, there's nothing backing the central bank digital currency besides the same thing that our fiat dollar is backed by, the promise of the government. Yeah, you know, I'll take my chances with cryptocurrencies. Kristalina Georgievia Managing director of the IMF said Wednesday that the private cryptocurrencies and stablecoins may not be a practical as well-designed central bank digital currencies. I think so. If you don't put an expiration date on there and you don't track what everybody's doing and you're not setting policies and procedures that put you in total control over what can and cannot be done with the currency, then I would say cryptocurrencies are a lot better off than a central bank digital currency. See, they're trying to already erode our constitutional rights over here now. You can only imagine what's going to happen with a digitalized version of a central bank digital currency. They'll just program it to where you cannot buy guns or ammo and just go ahead and circumvent the Constitution altogether that way. So I'm not in support of the central bank digital currency. In case you haven't figured it out, we know that the Chinese yuan is not doing very good. Nobody should be surprised. I got people telling me, don't worry about it, Pimpy, the QFS system. That's the new version. Well, guess what, people? I found it. Yep. I found the quantum financial system and their cryptocurrencies. And guess what? XRP and XLM and none of them are part of the system. Yep, you guys can look forward to that video coming here within the next day or two. Just like I said, don't. there's a lot of people on YouTube hyping up XRP and them. Those are the New World Order coins. Those are not the quantum financial system coins. Two separate things, as I'll show you as usual. 
Let me present the receipts, the proof. Anyways, that's it for now. Hit the thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, please do so. Because when you do, it helps out the channel. And I surely do appreciate it. And I'll catch you later. I'm out.